Hi. In the Unity game development environment, you can add a terrain and you can build the terrain on which you can add grass, the trees, and mountains, and a lot of that stuff. And there's a lot of help out there that teaches you how you can go about building a terrain. Now, what I'm basically planning on doing today is I'm planning on producing a plane on which I would like to place objects. So let me go under Game Object, and let me go under 3D Object, and let me put a plane out there. And on this plane, I would like to start applying an object. So if you go under Game Object again, under 3D Object, you can see that you can be drawing a cube, you can be drawing a sphere, a capsule, a cylinder. All of these different shapes are available to you. So if I would like to place a cube here, so I can click on the cube, and it places a cube right here. Now all of these tools are out here available to you that you can use. You can, or you can use the what we call the hotkeys. So what I've done is I've pulled these hotkeys for you right from the Unity website. You can actually search for the hotkeys right on Google. And I'm going to take you right here. And this would allow you, so if your object is selected, this is how you can see in the hierarchy that the object is selected. And applying, uh, uh, pressing the letter Q, which is a keyboard shortcut, will actually allow you to pan, so which changes the symbol to a hand symbol, which is for panning purposes. Pressing a W will automatically switch to the next option, as you can see, which is used for moving it around. So I can actually drag it and move it around. And as you can see, because of the directional light, it casts shadow on the floor. Then I have E, which is for rotating. So I can actually rotate it on axis. That's what basically this allows me to do. And then the next option is R, which allows me to scale it. So you can actually increase it in width. You can increase it in different dimensions, in height, however you want to do it, you can do that. That's through scaling. And lastly, T, which is the rect tool, which allows you to increase it in dimension, scaling it. You know, It basically increases in width and height and volume. So these are the many tools that you can use right within this environment. These are the Unity hotkeys that you can apply to any object on the plane. Now when the object is created, you can place more than one object if you like. So for example, right now I have this object in place. Let me put in a sphere as well. So if I click on the sphere, I can actually add a sphere. So I have a sphere here and I have a cube here. Okay. So I can actually move it around. See, as I move around my sphere, I can easily see the placement of the cube. So this is my cube. Uh, sorry, this is my uh, sphere, and this is my sphere, and this is my cube. So let me move my cube around. Okay. You can be placing objects, multiple objects, in the same plane. You can actually make one object go on top of the other object. So you can you can play around and build shapes however you wish to sh to shape your items. And then once you put these shapes together, you can actually create a what we call a prefab, which is a user-defined object. Once you add it to your asset as a prefab, then you can use that prefab in other game projects, in other scenes. So something that we would like to explore in our next set of tutorials. But for now, I just wanted to show you how you can put on the plane different kinds of game objects. So again, you need to first of all go under Game Object, under 3D Object, you need to put out a plane. Once the plane is out there, you go again in the Game Object, you go under 3D Object, and you can start adding shape. Now sometimes you add multiple shapes of the same type, so you can actually click on a shape, and you can go to the inspector and give it a name. So instead of calling it cube, I can actually call it, for example, ball. So now the name of this entity is ball, and you can actually see that in the hierarchy. If I click on the sphere, I can actually call it a different name. For example, I can call it rooftop. So now it's being called rooftop. So this is how you can pretty much go about changing the name of any game object. And then when you write your programs, you will going to refer to these by those names. On top of that, it's a good programming practice to name your objects by the purpose uh, for which they will going to be used. So this brief tutorial pretty much shows you how to generate a plane, how to put 3D objects on the plane, and how to change their names. Catch you in the next tutorial. Have a